Hello Blender fans, here is a getting started video for Jerry Topo, our new Blender 4 retopology add-on. We start again with a simple part of the axe mesh. When you press N, you can see the Jerry Topo add-on in the sidebar. The target and retopo meshes are not defined yet, but they will be detected automatically by using either the create or the loop tool. I'm going to hide the blade and bands objects so that we can focus on the simple handle model. First, I enable the retopology shader. Then I start the retopology process by drawing lines onto the target mesh with the create tool. The retopo mesh is created and the target mesh is assigned. Now I press F to switch to the Face Fill tool. The quad faces are found when hovering over a quad area with the mouse cursor, and with left click the face is created. You can extend the mesh by switching to the Create tool again. When hovering over an existing vertex, the point turns to blue, which means that the next vertex will be merged with the Retopo mesh. Press F to go back to Face Fill to fill the added vertices or edges with quads. When you press Q you change to Quad Strip Mode for adding quads along an edge loop. Then press F again to fill this missing quad. Alright, now let's use the Loop tool to add circles to the mesh. Add new loops to extend the mesh in one direction. Jerry Topo runs in the Blender viewport. This means you can use the existing Blender tools to edit the Retopo mesh. When I switch to the Edit tool, optimized settings for snapping are activated. With these settings you can use for instance Extrude or Rotate, by pressing E or R to extend the Retopo mesh like this. Once we came to the upper or lower part of the target, I switch again to face fill and press the M key two times to be able to fill the caps in caps fill mode. That's it. Now you see how easy it is to use Jerry Topo to create a retopology mesh for a high poly target. Okay, now let's use a mesh of a head this is named Gladiator by Thomas Hondrate. As you can see it is very high poly and it has a lot of details. Link is in the description below. First I activate Auto Merge, enable the Retopology shader, and then press Create to add some edges around the eye. I right click to end the polyline. After that I switch to Quad Strip by pressing the Q key. With this you can add quads to the edge loop that you just created. The normals are facing automatically in the correct direction. Right click to end the quad strip and start a new one. As I mentioned before, you can use any Blender tool with the Retopo mesh, for the add-on is running in the Blender viewport. At the moment I use the Poly Build tool to add faces to the mesh. Another way to extend the mesh is to use the Create tool. You can increase the number of vertices for a line. These vertices are projected then onto the target mesh. I start the line here from an existing vertex. When the starting point turns blue, you can be sure that the vertices are getting merged. This feature is available if Auto Merge is enabled. When you right-click, the current line ends and you can start a new one. Then I press F to switch to face fill, 
so that I can add quads to the edges that I just created using the Create tool. You can get Jerry Topo from the Superhive Market, formerly Blender Market. We offer it for a fair price. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the add-on, and I see you in the next video.